Hey everyone, welcome back. So today <laughs> I'm going to talk about like what I consider the most important key to actually flipping the switch and uh, entering the gateless gate, coming to the side of the mirror, whatever you want to call it. So if you haven't done it yet, please hit that like and subscribe button down below and that bell notification icon. Uh, we are also on Instagram. Uh, if you can find us, uh, I'll list a link somewhere. But um, here we go. So if anybody's ever heard me talk about entering the gateless gate or coming to this side of the mirror, uh, what it's referring to is it is a permanent flip of the mind where you actually can see the mind for what it's doing to you. And once you see this, you can't unsee it and it changes everything. This is literally the first half of all spiritual practice, uh, Eastern spiritual practice. And um, the thing is, is like different methods, uh, different systems teach different methods <clears throat> and they're not very efficient, all of them. Um, I think Zen has probably one of the most efficient systems, but I, I don't think it's all that efficient uh, compared to if we just break it down, give you exercises that your mind can understand, allow you to do the work, and then have it happen. So, you know, to flip this mind, to cause it, uh, this mind to turn over to a point where your perspective on literally everything changes. Um, the most important thing, what I consider the key, is paying attention to your inner voice. <clears throat> now, paying attention to your inner voice is actually a lot harder than it seems because you go through life on autopilot, listening to your inner voice, getting sucked into the drama of what it's doing, that you don't actually sit there and realize that you're not doing it, it's doing it on its own. So, if I had to narrow everything down to try and help somebody flip the switch, I would say the most important thing that you can do is watch the mind, watch what it's doing, listen to it, <clears throat> and then try and change the channel. So if your mind is thinking about something negative or starts talking badly about you, I'm not good enough, I'm not where I want to be in life, whatever the case may be, you know, see if you can change the channel to something else. You're like, you know what? Um, no, I want to think about something else, anything else, positive preferably, right? And watch how quickly your inner voice will suck you back into these dialogues about what it was just thinking about. It, it does not want to let go. Now, the other thing that you want to do is you want to realize if you are aware of your inner voice, what is the awareness that is aware of the inner voice? If you're hearing the inner voice like it's somebody else, where is your awareness? What is actually aware of your inner voice? This is also a very deep and simple practice to help bring realization. Okay. When the realization happens, it will be so profound, you will not have a choice but to change everything that you see in life as far as the way that you look at things. So it, it's, kind of, it's kind of an important step. So I'm also looking for new topics, topics to talk about. So if anybody has any questions or comments, please post them down below. And um, I'll see if I can make a video about them. Uh, which is ironic because I don't get a lot of people asking me for specific topics to be talked about. <laughs> so if you do have something, please leave a comment. And... Um, I will see what I can do because I'm actually having a little bit of a hard time recently finding new topics or something else to talk about. So drop a comment down below. Uh, please hit that like and subscribe. Don't forget we're on Instagram. Uh, link somewhere around wherever. And I'll see you guys later.